Welcome to the Electric Wheelchairs USA Mobility Experts Channel. We're at Freeriders Corporate Headquarters and in today's video we're going to go over the Ascot 3. This is a portable three-wheel mobility scooter that's more affordable. It can be broken down into five more easy to manage pieces without the use of tools and also reassembled without the use of tools. It offers a 325 pound weight capacity a top speed of just under five miles per hour, and the battery range is around 15 miles on a single charge. So let's get into it, and let's show you a little bit more about it. One thing that's really nice about the Ascot 3 is that it has a super comfortable stadium style seat that has a lot of padding and it has a long battery range of up to 15 miles on a single charge. Right below the back of the seat there are two knobs that you can adjust and this will adjust the width of the armrests or you can even remove the armrest if you wanted to. These are your rear anti-tip wheels so these are here for added safety. So if you were to go up a steep incline, it just prevents you from tipping backwards. And of course, this is a freewheel lever. So if you're run out of battery life, you can press the lever forward and you can push the scooter to your destination so you can charge it. However, you cannot operate the scooter when it's in freewheel mode. You need to push the lever back into the drive position. On the left side of the seat, there is this lever right here that you can pull up and that will adjust the seat 360 degrees. So it'll swivel all the way to the side or even to the back, which makes it easier to get in and out of the seat. Plus the armrests also flip up, which is another feature that makes it easy to get in and out. And the padding on the seat is very nice. It's more padded than most standard deluxe stadium style seats. And a lot of our customers really like that. Now on the tiller, there is a key that comes with this to turn it on and off. This is your battery gauge. These two yellow buttons are your horn. And in the middle here, this is your speed control dial. So you can adjust how fast or how slow you want to go. If you turn it all the way to the right towards the max, you can achieve your top speed of around four and a half miles per hour when you fully accelerate. Another great feature is that the throttle on the scooter is an ambidextrous throttle. So you can accelerate forward or backwards with just one hand. So if you had limited mobility in one of your hands, you can still operate the scooter easily. There's also a large front basket to store your belongings. And there's a knob down here that will adjust your tiller. So you just loosen it and then lock it back into place. So if you're a taller person or if you have longer arms, you can adjust it away from you or towards you to get to a nice comfortable driving position. This is your battery pack that's located right under the seat and you can charge the batteries directly on the battery pack. So you can charge it while it's on the scooter or you can even remove this battery pack and charge it separately if you wanted to. A lot of our customers like to take the battery pack off and leave the scooter in their garage for an example and then they charge the battery pack in their house and then once they're finished charging it they can remove it from the charger take it back out to the garage and then put it back on the scooter now to disassemble the scooter it's a few simple steps the first step is you would remove the seat and you do that by lifting up that lever that will swivel the seat and that will pop off the seat from the seat post next you'd want to remove the basket and after that, you want to unplug the battery pack. So there's a cord that connects to it and you just press this little button and it will release the cord from the battery pack and you just remove that. And you can see you can still charge it off of the scooter as well. Next, you would adjust the tiller down. So use that same lever that you use to adjust the tiller, but adjust it all the way down. So it's about level to the floorboard and then lock that into place. After that, there is a knob on the front of the tiller that you would lock the tiller into place. So it does not jump around while it's in transit and it just prevents it from getting damaged. So make sure you lock that into place. And then of course, the last step is you pull up this knob and that will separate the rear wheel axle from the front half portion of the scooter. And now the heaviest piece once it's been disassembled like this is the front half portion, which weighs only 26 pounds. So it's really simple to transport if you're capable of lifting 26 pounds. Now reassembling is equally as simple. 
you basically just do the steps backwards and you would lift up from the seat post to put, lift up the front half portion of the scooter and there are some hooks on the front half portion that you would line up with a rear wheel axle and once they're lined up correctly you would just let go and it will snap right into place then you want to adjust the tiller back up to a driving position and lock that into place make sure you unlock this lock on the front of the tiller so you can actually steer the scooter then you would drop the battery pack back into it and of course plug the wiring back into the battery pack after that you would put the seat into the seat post and pull up the seat back and place the basket back on the front so you can see it's really simple to disassemble and reassemble the scooter it takes about a minute the ascot 3 has a super tight turning radius of just over 34 inches and the seat is 18 inches in width Plus with the battery range being at 15 miles on a single charge, it's a great scooter that is more affordable compared to a lot of other portable mobility scooters. It's great for traveling, someone that's active and on the go that likes to take their mobility with them. And when putting it in the back of your vehicle, you don't have to fully disassemble it if you don't want. There is an accessory you can purchase, which is a loading mat. And so you can put that in the back of your SUV or the back of your car. And then you can lift up the front half portion like this and then lift up the back so it distributes the weight so you're not lifting up the entire bottom portion of the scooter. But of course you can disassemble it fully if you'd like, like we showed you previously. So all in all, it's really an awesome scooter. It can support a higher weight capacity than most portable mobility scooters on the market. And it has an all around great scooter that many of our customers really like. So the Ascot 3, we do recommend the scooter. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a portable mobility scooter that's not going to break the bank, that is economical and reliable, the Ascot 3 is a great selection. We love working with Freerider. They've been in business for over 30 years and we have a great relationship with them. If you have any questions about the Ascot 3 or any of their products, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-682-9444 or visit us at electricwheelchairsusa.com.